This is the alphabet we're going to look at. And as you can see, there's just a sample of the letters here. And I'm going to show you where the T-line alphabet comes from based on the letters you already know. So we've got the capital A. Our T-line A is just based on the top part and there we have a T-line A. The E. We're going to look at that corner and use that for an E. The T, we're going to look at the straight part and we're going to use a straight line and keep it in that position so it's at the top. Now sometimes we look at the lowercase letters but it helps us so we've got the capital L, lowercase l and the T line is the same as the lowercase l. Now let's look at the M. There's your capital M, then you've got your lowercase m and the T line, we just look at that top part of the M and there's your T line M. X is exactly the same, Y is virtually the same but we need to save time because that's the whole idea of shorthand. So we're taking off the curly bit at the end and there's your T line Y. Now the W is very, very similar to the M. We're going to the lowercase w and we're going to streamline it by just taking the bottom part and that's your W. Always the same, not very big. And here we've got capital P, lowercase p and our T line P straight through the line because we're taking off this bit. The other thing to remember with T line, if a letter cuts the line, so does the T line. So the P is through the line. Similarly, capital J, lowercase j, T line J. We haven't got time to put the dot on it and we've streamlined the stroke. And those of you that went to school when I did, we had a K, a kicking K as they used to call it. And that part of the K becomes the K. Now the N, again this one's similar to the M and the W. We've gone to the lower case and we're going to streamline it still further. We're only taking the end of the N and we're taking this curly bit off the end of it. Capital H, lowercase h, sits on the line. We need to save time, so we'll take that bit off and just keep with that straight back of the H, which is the same as the capital 2. There's your S and the cursive S, and it's got that nice little circle at the top. So all we're going to do for an S is this one. And next you'll get a list of the whole alphabet.